And today, West Kiss Hair sent over this burgundy wig unit. As you guys see that this is something a little different for me, it also comes with the blonde skunk stripes in the front. So I was very curious and interested in trying out this wig unit, just because it's not something that I would do on the normal, but I was just keeping you guys in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys the process of me applying this wig unit. I am first gonna go ahead and start plucking this wig. Make sure that it's like looking as natural as possible because again, it does have the skunk stripes. It's burgundy and it's blonde. So I'm just trying to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna let you guys know the specs. This is a 180% density wig unit. Again, this is a 99J, meaning that it's burgundy. And again, it has the blonde skunk stripe in the front. And this is also a 20 inch wig unit. So I feel like the density is actually very full, you guys. I like reviewing West Kiss hair because they have really full wig units. And you guys know that this is the big hair channel. I do feel like with the blonde, if you do not like how white blonde it is, you can always tone it to another blonde. And also if you don't like that it has a lot of blonde. You can also like go in and like pluck it. Or you can play around with the parting space because I feel like with the parting and the placement of the blondes, you are able to maneuver with the blondes as you like. You don't have to show as much blonde if you don't want to, like what I ended up doing. But for the most part, you guys, this wig unit was quite easy, but I did have to give it a little bit more attention than any other wig because it's colored. So I just had to make sure that it looked really natural and it looked good in my opinion on me. Um, so it did little, need a little bit more work than normal, you guys, but I made it work. And I'm actually not hating the color either. I thought that I would hate it, but I actually think that it came out really good. It just needed more attention than any other wig. <laughs> that's just all, that's just what that was. And then once I started styling it and I did my baby hairs and things of that such, then it all came together. But let me know what you guys think down below of the color with the burgundy and the blonde together. Let me know if you guys love burgundy and blonde together. I don't know. I just wanted to try it out to see how it will look on me. But I actually don't think that it looks bad, you guys. I'm actually pretty pleased with what I came up with with the styling. It just needed my little touch and some layers and some baby hairs and some curls. And that's pretty much it. So, again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'm just going to go ahead and let this video play out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.
Thank you.